Hello and welcome to Technic 4 tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to install Shop Funnels manually. Let's get started. Sometimes the one-click installation will not work due to the security and permission of the hosting. So in this case, what you can do is install the Shop Funnels manually, and this is how you would install it. If you don't have a cPanel hosting and you have other hosting like Hostinger, Direct Admin, or Black Hosting. In this case, you can also follow this procedure. Go to your hosting dashboard. Click on the File Manager. First off, I'll show you how to install Shop Funnels manually in the domain root. Click on the folder public underscore HTML. And as you can see, I have a lot of content in my root. That is why I cannot install Shop Funnels here in my root. Because if I install Shop Funnels in my root, it may create a conflict between my current website and Shop Funnels. So what I can do now is install it in the folder. Click here to add a new folder. Then add the folder name. And you will see the created folder here. Click on it. Here is where you can upload the Shop Funnels. So click the Upload button. Now you'll need to download the Shop Funnels script from the membership dashboard. On the sidebar menu, click on the Manual Installation tab. Click on the Click to Download button. And it will take some time to download, and you will see it below when it's ready. Now you can directly drag and drop it here, and you can click on the Select File button. Click on the Shop Funnels script that you have downloaded, and it will be uploaded here. When it's done, right click on it and select Extract and click on Extract Files. After that, you can delete this file if you want. Then visit your folder, Roadside Store. Click on a new tab and search it here. Now, on this configuration page, you can select your language. After that, you'll need to enter your database's credentials, like the host name, username, password, database name, port, or table prefix. In most of the hostings, you will see the database host name. But in some hosting, there are different kinds of host names. So make sure your hosting has a local host name. Otherwise, you can ask your provider for your host name, or you can search online. In my case, I have a cPanel hosting, and I have the same host name. Then you'll need an email address and a password. For that, go to your hosting dashboard. After that, search the database and MySQL database. I can write it here, Roadstore, but you can add any names here that you want. Then click on the Create Database button. After that, you need to create the username. Now enter in the username here and password. You can also use the password generator if you don't have any yet. After that, click on Create User. Then you will need to give the permission to your user. Just scroll down and add them here. Then click on Add. Then select the permissions that you want to give to your user and make the changes. And this is the same process for other kinds of hosting. After that, visit your configuration page and refresh it. Now just copy the username first. Paste it here. Do the same for the database name. And password. And for the port, most of the hostings have the same port name or default port name. You can enter your port name here. Otherwise, you can leave it as it is. After that, you can add the table prefix. But for this one, I will leave it as it is and click on the Submit button. 
Now enter your name, email ID, password, and re-enter your password. After that, click on Submit. Now on the login side, use those credentials to log in. Then if you're logged in, you have successfully installed Shop Funnels. You'll just need to verify your license in the membership site. Click here. And for the membership ID, click here. And click on Account Settings. So this is your membership email ID. Just copy it and paste it here. Then copy your site URL. Then again click on the Manage Licenses tab. Then paste it here. Then click on the Generate New License button. And this will be your new license for your website. Then copy it and paste it here. Then click on Verify. And there you have successfully installed it manually in the Domain Root folder. Now let me show you how to install it manually through a subdomain. Again I'll go to my hosting. And on the dashboard, I click on the file manager. Then choose your subdomain. If you want to create a new subdomain, just click here on the subdomains section. Then create one here. Enter the name for it and select the domain root and click on create. You can also search your subdomains here. You can just click on it and you'll be redirected to your subdomains folder. Or what you can do is just go to the dashboard, file manager, and search here your subdomains. So now here you can install your shop funnels. The procedure is about the same for the subdomain. Just click on upload, select your file, And after it has been uploaded, click here, then extract it. Then again, if you want, you can delete this file after extracting. And now just open your subdomain here. Okay, click on Advance and just remove S from HTTPS and reload the page and now select language now click here to continue then it's time to enter in your database credentials for your username on your dashboard in the databases section click on MySQL database add here your database name Then scroll down to create your username. Add password, and you can also use password generate if you want to generate a secure password. And now select the created user and database. And click here, add. Give all the privileges to this user. And after that, copy the username. Now refresh your site and add your username. And if you have the host name, you can also add it here. Now copy the database name. Then enter your password. If you want to add the port name and the table prefix, you can also add it here. Then click on Submit. Now create your admin user. Add the name, email ID, password, and re-enter the password. Then click on Submit. After that, log in to your admin dashboard. And once again, verify your membership license here. You'll need your ShopFunnels membership email ID. For that, go back to ShopFunnels membership site. You can click here or directly visit here. Click on the Manage License tab. First of all, you'll need to add here your membership email address. I just write here my email address. 
You can also confirm your membership email ID from the Membership Account section. Click on Account and just copy the email ID and paste it here. After that, copy your website URL, click on Manage License and generate a new license. And just paste it here. Generate a new license, then copy and paste it here. Then click on Verify. Then you can follow this product run through or you can skip it. After that, you can see it here it says it is not a secure site. What you can do is, if you have an SSL certificate, then click on setting. And just add an S here in the HTTP and save the setting. And also add S in the URL HTTP. And reload the page. Now you have a secure site. So that is how you install Shop Funnels manually. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.